Leonidas. He was Sparta's last true hero. We'd all be under the yoke of the Persian Empire if it wasn't for his courage. The same blood courses through your veins. My blood courses through these veins. Not some man's I've never met. Leonidas was king, Cassandra. And yet I grew up in the dirt. Hold out your spear. All of this talk of the Pythia, the Pythia, I do not care what she says. Enough! We have grown tired of your insolent tongue. Sparta will not go to war. The Pythia has spoken. Pythia says what you tell her to say. She has been your puppet for far too long. The time has come to cut her strings. Oh, Leonidas, the days of heroes are over. You think your blood makes you special? If we opened your veins, it would spill to the ground and disappear through the cracks. You are no one. You are more than welcome to find out. Your fate is sealed, son of the lion. Xerxes will unite us. He will bring order to chaos. Divide the Pythia and everyone you love. Everything you stand for will perish. Gather them then. My king? Xerxes wants Sparta. She'll have to go through me. Incredible! Now do you understand? What must I do? It's time we embrace our destiny. Both of us. If we don't stop the cult before it's too late, then all Leonidas fought and died for was for nothing. Our bloodline has reason to those who would enslave us. It's time we rise again. Well, well, well. Mother and daughter united in Sparta at last. And look at you. Goddesses among mortals. King Pavsanias. We're honored. I was sorry to hear about your father. Yes. Our fathers would have been proud to see us here today. You remember Cassandra, my king? Who could forget? The girl who died to save her brother. Such a tragedy. An innocent child put to death because of an ancient, merciless law. Ancient and merciless? Most Spartans live and die by these laws. But you sound more... progressive. And you sound like you've been rubbing elbows with Athenians. I've been to a symposium or two. <sighs> In any case, Sparta was weakened by losing you. Losing you both. We're examples of why these laws must change. Oh, I agree. But King Archidamos, if he could carve Spartan law across the chest of every citizen, he would. I've spent my whole life looking over my shoulder. If Sparta is to be my home again, I'd rather it be a peaceful one. <laughs> Peace at what cost? When Spartans aren't killing, they're training to kill. And when they're not killing Athenians, they're declaring war on their own people. But we're not here to talk about the dead, are we? We know Sparta reclaimed our house after what happened to my father in Megaris. We want it back. Mind your tongue, child. You may not live in Sparta anymore, but I'm still your king. We graciously request an audience with you and King Archidamos to discuss reinstating our citizenship and reclaiming our home. Of course. There is nothing I'd want more. Archidamos, however, still hasn't forgiven you for the whole nose incident. What can we do to sway him? There's rumor of a Hilot rebellion, and the Kreptia are stalking the flames. Savagely killing Hilots, stealing livestock, and leaving corpses to rot in the streets. The Kreptia represents Sparta's ultimate achievement in military training. 
Their discipline and fearlessness makes Sparta's army the most feared in the world. Once, but the Kryptia have become corrupt and bloodthirsty. And training boys to kill unarmed peasants is nothing to be proud of. Do you want your home back or not? Good. So the Illots will no longer support the senseless slaughtering of their people. If killing Kryptia will get our home back, I'll do it. I should try to stay out of sight. Something's over there. Who's whistling? Huh? <laughs> Was that a whistle? Stay together. I'll check. Uh. Any sign of them? Nothing so far. <coughs> well, keep looking. No ah. problem.
one. 